that once we've picked one of the marbles out of the bag, so we start off with eight marbles, which is sort of indicated there by the eight. We've picked one, and we're not putting it back again, so there's only seven marbles left in from which to choose for the second marble. And that's why these denominators are seven there. So these are also going to be out of sevenths. Um, now, let's have a look. If we've picked a green as our first marble, we had three greens to start with, indicated by this three here. We picked a green, and there were three, and there's only going to be two greens left. So out of the seven, there are only going to be two greens left. Now, if we've got two sevenths here, remember these must add up to one, so that's two sevenths. This must be five sevenths, so that five sevenths and two sevenths add up to one. So that's the tree diagram done. And it tells us now to work out the probability that Duane takes marbles of different colors. Different colors. Okay, so let's let's try doing that. So the probability that uh, the, he picks different colors. Well, if he picks a red to start with, then he must pick a green afterwards. Or... He picks a green, first of all, and a red afterwards. So we can say this is the probability of picking red followed by green. Or, and remember, or is plus the probability of green and red. And remember, these ands here are multiplied together. So this is the probability. Uh, so this is the probability of picking a red. So let's have a look at what we're doing here. So probably picking a red followed by a green. So we're looking at multiplying these two numbers together. So 5 eighths times 3 sevenths. Or, which is this plus, oops, sorry, 5 eighths times 3 sevenths. Or, green, 3 eighths, followed by red, 5 sevenths. Okay, so let's multiply those together. We've got 3 fives of 15 over 7 eighths of 56, plus 3 fives of 15 again over 56, giving a total of 15 plus 15, 30 lots of 56. And of course, you can then cancel that down to 15 over 28. Don't worry too much about cancelling down. You probably should, but in probability questions, they're a bit more lenient about that because it's a question on probability rather than fractions. But if it's obviously cancelling down, you should do it.